Like, why you have to stand? Okay, right. we're ready. Alright, All right. good morning class. We are, today we are going to read Lily's Purple Plastic Purse by Kevin Hennings. <laughs> Lily loved school. She loved the pointy pencils. She loved the squeaky chalk. And she loved the way her boots went clickety-clack, clickety-down the long, shiny hallways. Lily loved the privacy of her own very own desk. She loved the fish sticks and chocolate milk every Friday in the lunchroom. And most of all, she loved her teacher, Mr. Slinger. Mr. Slinger was as sharp as a tack. He wore artistic shirts. He wore glasses on a chain around his neck. And he wore a different colored tie for each day of the week. Wow, said Lily. That was just about all she could say. Wow. Instead of greeting students or good morning pupils, Mr. Slinger winked and said, Howdy. He thought that desks and rows were old fashioned and boring. Do you rodents think you can handle a semicircle? <laughs> and, the hall, and he always provided the most tasty snacks, things that were curly and crunchy and cheesy. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said Lily. Me too, said her friends, Chester, Wilson, and Victor. Does anyone else want to be a teacher in this class? Me. Me. Excellent choice. <laughs> At home, Lily pretended to be Mr. Slinger. I am the teacher, she told her baby brother, who Lily is. Listen up. Lily even wanted her own set of a deluxe picture encyclopedias. What's with Lily, asked her mother. I thought she wanted to be a surgeon or an ambulance driver or a diva, said her father. It must be because of her new teacher, Mr. Slinger, said her mother. Wow, said her father. That was just, that was just all he could say. Wow. Whenever the students had free time, they were permitted to go to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. Does anyone know what permitted means? Um, yes. Does it mean allowed? Yes. So what does permitted sound like? Permit. Permit or permission, meaning allowed. Oh. They expressed their ideas creatively through drawing and writing. Lily went often. She had a lot of ideas. She drew pictures of Mr. Slinger. And she wrote stories about him too. During sharing time, Lily showed her creations to the entire class. Wow, said Mr. Slinger. That was just about all he could say. Wow. When Mr. Slinger had bus duty, Lily stood in line, even though she didn't ride the bus. Lily raised her hand more than anyone else in the class, even if she didn't know the answer. And she volunteered to say after school to clap the racers. I want to be a teacher when I grow up, said, Mr. said Lily. Excellent choice, said Mr. Slinger. One morning, Lily came to school especially happy. She had gone shopping with her Grammy over the weekend. Lily had a new pair of movie star sunglasses, complete with glitter diamonds and a chain like Mr. Slinger's. She had three shiny quarters, and best of all, she had a brand new purple plastic purse that played jaunty tune, tunes when it was open. Can anyone tell me what jaunty means? Loud. Loud? Loud? It could be loud. Anything else? Like fun. Lively. Fun. There we go. And can anyone else tell me why she was so happy to go to school that day? She was helping them. She was helping them. Yes. She was helping them with their homework. She probably wanted to show Mr. What's his name? Mr. Slinger. Mr. Slinger. Right? His new stuff. Her new stuff. Yeah, correct. Lily wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Listen to our story. Lily had a hard time listening. Lily really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Let's be considerate of our classmates. Lily had a hard time being considerate. What does it mean to be considerate? Or what's another word for considerate? Yes. Nice. Nice. Respectful. Lily really, really wanted to show everyone. Not now, said Mr. Slinger. Wait until recess or sharing time. But Lily could not wait. The glasses were so glittery, the cords were so shiny, and the purse played such nice music. Not to mention how excellent it was for storing school supplies. Look, Lily whispered fiercely. Look, everyone. Look what I've got. Everyone looked, including Mr. Slinger. He was not amused. Can anyone tell me what they predict is going to happen? I think he's going to take her, her new stuff away. So, new stuff away? What do you think? 
I'll just keep your things on my desk until the end of the day, said Mr. Slinger. They'll be safe there, and then you can take them home. Lily Simic lurched. She felt like crying. Her glasses were gone. Her quarters were gone. Her purple plastic purse was gone. Lily longed for her purse all morning. She was even too sad to eat the snack Mr. Slinger served before recess. That afternoon, Lily went to the light bulb lab. She was still very sad. She thought and she thought and she thought, and then she became angry. She thought and she thought and she thought even more, and then she became furious. She thought and she thought and she thought a bit longer, and then she drew a picture of Mr. Slinger. Uh-oh. What do you guys predict the picture's going to be? Is it going to be a happy one or a bad one? Mean picture. Nice. Why? Why is that? She's mad at him. Yeah. <gasps> right before the last bell rang, Lily sneaked the drawing into Mr. Slinger's book bag. When all the students were buttoned and zipped and snapped and tied, ready to go home, Mr. Slinger st strolled over to Lily and gave her purple plastic purse back. It's a beautiful purse, said Mr. Slinger. Your quarters are nice and jingly, and those glasses are absolutely fabulous. You may bring them back to school as long as you don't disrupt the rest of the class. I do not want to be a teacher when I grow up, Lily said, as she marched out of the classroom. Why do you think she would say that? Because they're teacher. For what? Because On the way home, Lily opened her purse. Her glasses and quarters were inside, and so was a note from Mr. Slinger. It said, today was a difficult day. Tomorrow will be a better one. There was also a small bag of tasty snacks at the bottom of the purse. Aww. Lily's stomach lurched. She felt like crying. She felt simply awful. Lily ran all the way home and told her mother and father everything. Instead of watching her favorite cartoons, Lily decided to sit in an un uncooperative chair. And it says, I'll stay here a million years for Mr. Slinger. Why does everything always happen to me? 1051, 1052, 1095. That night, Lily drew a nice picture of Mr. Slinger and wrote a story about him, too. Here's what the story says. It says, Lily was really, really sorry, so everyone forgave her, even her parents, even her stinky baby brother, even her especially incredible teacher. And then the sun shined its smiley face down on everyone and everything, and even the bugs and worms. The end. Lily's mother wrote a note, and Lily's father baked some tri uh, tasty snacks for Lily to take to school the next day. I think Mr. Slinger will understand, said Lily's mother. I know he will, said Lily's father. What do you think? Do you think Mr. Slinger will forgive her? Let's find out. The next morning, Lily got to school early. These are for you, Lily said to Mr. Slinger, because I am really, 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 really sorry. Mr. Slinger read the story. And he looked at the picture, and he read the note too, and he sampled the snacks. Wow, said Mr. Slinger, that was just about all I could say. Wow. What do you think we should do with this, asked Mr. Slinger. Can we just throw it away, asked Lily. Excellent idea, said Mr. Slinger. During sharing time, Lily demonstrated the many uses and unique qualities of her purple plastic purse, her shiny quarters, and her glittery goofy star sunglasses. Then she did a little performance using them as props. It's called interpretive dance, said Lily. And Mr. Slinger joined in. Wow, said the entire class. That was just about all they could say. Wow. How do you think both of them feel? Do you think they both?